Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to another day of Cumberland Lake. Freezing? Yes. <clears throat> Today started out with you know high skies, no clouds, 30 mile an hour winds, knocked me off of the main points. I had to get to the secondary points off the main lake. Air temperature 58 degrees. Water temperature this morning when I came in was 47. Right now, let's see where we're at. Forty-eight point two. So, Cumberland Lake. Uh, coming into this, into the this is February, February fifteenth. Coming into here, I'm like, okay, the water's 40, 45 degrees. These fish are lethargic. They aren't going to be doing nothing. So how wrong I was. <clears throat> I fished for all three species, the largemouth, smallmouth, and a spot. Um, I didn't get any largemouth. I lost a lot of fish today. That's that's just the nature of the game. The bigger ones you always seem to lose. They just got they got more fighting power. So today, here's my rod, seven footer. Today, I'm using swim baits. Both of these are semi shad color. One's a little bit lighter, one's a little bit darker, the four inch with a swim bait weight and hook, all one piece. Very easy to do. This time of the year, since it is a little bit cooler, I'm casting. I'm in about 30 to 40 feet of water and I'm casting to about 5 feet of water letting the swim bait sink and then as, it's, as it hits the bottom you can see the little curl in your line stop then I'm kind of like just up and just kind of after you go up like this you'll see a little slack in your line and I reel in and up again. Reel in, up again. So what I'm doing is, most of the time in, in this kind of weather, lakes like this, the shad, there's a die off, there's a shad die off. It's just too cold. Some of them get down to 60, 70 feet plus, you know, plus, and they're able to live. Um, but some of the ones that don't make it, they'll start dying off and they'll freeze and start slowly, slowly kind of filtering down and that's where the, uh, the bass are going to catch them. So like I said, I'm, I'm hitting it there, letting it float down, and then kind of reeling the slack like that. Usually, usually, when you go up like this and let your pole down and reel in the slack, you'll see your line go poof, and that's when you come back and set the hook. So. Here's another color. This is my favorite cover, color for Cumberland. It's got a little bit of chartreuse in it and it's got a little bit of uh, um, shad color in it. Same thing, this is a, a 3 8 ounce jig head, swim bait head. So I'm using 3 8 and half inch. Colors is a big deal. So, Like I said, I probably got eight fish today, and like I said, some good ones got off. And you could, you know, when you got a when you got a lake like this where you can see down 20, 30 feet, and you see the fish that's on your line, and you see him just shaking his head, and you see that lure just kind of, you're like, oh my gosh! But but that's what makes it fun. We're gonna come back and get them again. <clears throat> so let me share with you some of the ones I caught. They're not giant but it was fun. It's just fun sized fish. I mean, having a good time being out here. Look behind me, that's a water, that's a natural waterfall. I mean, come on. So, so I'll bring these guys out. 
explain to you what species they are. And I'm going to throw them back in. Okay, this is a spotted bass. Not bad, not a giant, but fun, fun, fun. Nice little spotted bass. Okay, he's going back. All right, where are you guys? Another little spot. Not giant, but fun. Okay, little spot. There's a small mouth. Bronze back. Brown bass. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. And these, these compared to the large mouth and spots, when they hit the lure, they hit it like a freight train. And it's a blast catching them. Not bad. Fun. Brady, this is another uh, small mouth. But look at the colors on this guy. This one here got some nice colors on them. Nice small mouth. Another small mouth. That's tournament size. That's you know, this is what you want. Five of these and you're good. Beautiful colors on this guy too. Beautiful. Wonder this was a nice fight. This was a nice fighting fish. Beautiful fish. Just thankful to be out here to be able to catch these guys. It's awesome to be on a lake to catch largemouth, smallmouth, and spots in the same day. She's going back. <laughs> okay guys. I gotta head back because it's still 30 mile an hour winds out there and there's three foot waves and and I'm back in a cove right now, but I'll tell you what. I can get a hunker down. This is going to be a heck of a ride. So, have a blessed day. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I try to take you guys with me when I fish and I explain what I do, how I do it. The depth, the color, everything. So, it's just fun to be able to, to be out here then to share. <clears throat> Remember, take someone fishing. It'll make their day. All right. See you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening.